Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel and this is the Irish Beauty Vlog. Um, I'm back. <laughs> Took a little break um, uh, because I had a lot on. My son is getting married in May this year. Woohoo! Um, so there was, I was down in Granada with him over Christmas and his new in-laws. Yes, my face is extremely shiny. Um, this video uh, <laughs> is a little bit tricky. Um, you're seeing me after I've microneedled, hence the uh, redness on my skin um, because I recorded the video originally and the first part for some reason didn't record. I have no explanation why. Uh, this is a far more complex camera than I'm used to. Um, I did take some time to work with it over the Christmas but I'm afraid I just haven't got every nuance and um, detail of how it works, shall we say. Um, so at the moment, um, I decided to do microneedling because I hadn't microneedled in a substantial time and I felt my skin had gotten very dry because I'd started back on the tretinoin. So, you know, I get retiree days in Spain, hola, and uh, <laughs> I wanted to get back into it um, because I did let it slide um, kind of summer a little bit last year and kind of because I was traveling as well a bit and was going into sun and I was kind of like mm, I let it slide and now I'm I'm kind of going nah you, you need to keep it up girl so I went back on it as a result well you know um it goes dry your skin does start to, you have that horrible drying out phase <laughs> this here um, and it was much worse um so I really wanted to give an in-depth uh deep hydration to the skin I also wanted to try and fade these babies a little bit. So um, this is what I used because unfortunately we only have some of the footage. Um, and most of that footage will be me rolling my face um, with my usual speed it up so you don't get too bored. Um, but first of all, I want to wish you all, oh my God, the most happiest healing and free and amazing year ahead for 2022. Numerology says it is a year for healing, so here's to it. Um, God knows the planet could do with healing and each human being on this planet could do with healing. So that's where we're at this year. So yes, for any of those who know, <laughs> know me well, know I am into astrology, numerology, and I do read tarot cards. So if that freaks anybody out, I'm sorry, but that's what I love. So it is going to be a, a very healing year. It's going to be also a incredibly shifting year. Um, so we're going to see a lot of times when we think the human race is in jeopardy just to find out that we win again. So, you know, I'll keep you updated kind of a little bit. If you like that kind of thing, I'm happy to do a little bit of it in here. But anyway, onto the skincare. I cleanse my face with micellar water. I haven't been out today, but I did cleanse it. So I did my morning cleansing ritual with my usual haru haru black rice, black rice even, oil cleanser. I'll link uh, products below as well. But this is the only micellar water I found that, I could be wrong, but I, that I found handy enough that doesn't actually have alcohol in it. Um, surprisingly enough, the Vichy one has alcohol in it. So there you go. So I, I find it the, the most gentlest. Not a flan, fan of how it bubbles, to be honest, but you, but you know what? It's not a bad product. It's not something I'd use every night to cleanse my skin, but for the sake of quickness, quickness, this, 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 <laughs> the sake of speed, um, when I was on camera earlier on that didn't record, I used this with some cotton pads, okay? I gloved up, as always, with my rubber gloves. And I do change rubber gloves when they start to go yellow because I, that always says to me, okay, take them off, you know, alcohol the hands a little bit and put them back on again and just being very cautious. So I cleanse with the micellar water and then I went in to take off the micellar water because it does stick on the skin and I don't like that. Uh, I went in with my Agua Oxen Yenida. Yenida. Okay, so I think that's how you say it. Um, I am learning Spanish, but... Mm. <coughs> so, excuse me. It's an antiseptic for the skin and it's far kinder than putting the alcohol on the skin. So that's what I do. I use that for skin and that for my implements. I went in here and here with a th three millimeter. Um, so I'm going to show you the three millimeter. It's actually soaking in alcohol now at the moment uh, after I made the video and I'm going to see if that can focus in so you get a good look. 
so you can see they're quite long. That is about the length of a tattoo needle. Um, the reason I used that was because I wanted to really go deep into the dermis um, to get some, really get moisture in. And I used my hyaluronic acid, my own brand hyaluronic acid. And I also used the Ordinary's niacinamide. So that's what I used to, to roll in there, right? You'll see me rolling with it uh, in the next part of the video. So I'm like future Rachel jumping back. The rest of my face, I used uh, a half uh, 0.5 millimeter. So you can see the bloody difference between the two of them. <laughs> just a tad of a difference between the two, just a tad. So <laughs> ideally, I would suggest to nobody use um, a th uh, three millimeter on your face. It's usually for your legs, arms, behind your, you know, behind here, any flabby skin, anything like that. It's usually for other parts of the body, stretch marks, etc. Um, but I did it because I really felt that my 11s were starting to come back again and that I really needed to highly moisturize this area, it particularly, I think because it's your upper mantle towards the sun, it really had dried out. Um, and with the tretinoin, it definitely did because it's a much thinner skin. So with that in mind, that's what I did. Uh, One point five millile millimeters here, and I didn't do the noise nose and here, and here I did my three millimeter. I also went over my eyebrows with my three millimeter, and I got a cute tip, um, the top of um, of a cotton pad, and put some alcohol on my eyebrows because I will be persistently and consistently trying to fade them as much as I can because I have a joyful video coming for you in the future. I am going to tattoo my own eyebrows. <laughs> um, yeah, well, listen, let's face it. You know, <laughs> I was an artist in a previous life. life. Um, I'm pretty good at, at art, so I think I could probably manage them myself and shape them myself better. Um, I will be practicing, however, on synthetic skin. So I won't be going diving straight onto my face, but I think I'm doing a pretty good job of fading them nonetheless. It's just to fade them down to alter the shape slightly. They're just a little bit out of place. So that's basically what I was doing in this video. So I gloved up, I sterilized, I, I cleansed my face, I sterilized my face, I sterilized my hands and tools as I always do, and I used gloves and I went in with a micro needling. You will see the video here. I am so sorry this happened. You know, it's getting back into practice after such a long break. Um, I really missed you guys. I missed doing videos. I missed talking to you. Uh, I missed having your comments. And, you know, it's now time for this channel to take the next step, I think. Um, sorry, I have, I had eyelashes put on before Christmas and they're now starting to fall out. So they need to be done again. So I'm picking at them, which is not right. Coming shortly in this channel, I wanted to get this in as quickly as possible. We'll be using the super line. Have I got that the right way up? No, I haven't, I didn't think so. So we'll be using the V-line uh, Sol. It's a super line system. It's basically Kybella in like a herbal format. Um, I got this from Ace Cosm. So we're gonna see how this works out. Um, I'm gonna trial this. That'll be coming soon. So, cause I need to get rid of this before I go attempting any more threads, I think. I also have the N25 threads. Whoa! These things are like gold dust if you don't know what they are. They're the smallest cogs commercially available, basically. And I'm um, sorry, I'm putting over my, <laughs> my, my lighting. Um, so there's, this commercial, there's 20 of them there and they are 38 by 25 gauge. So that's as small as you're gonna get of a needle. Whereas the ones I had been using previously had been 21 gauge, I think. So um, the smallest you're gonna get. So I have 20 of those to do. I also have Maggie, my wonderful lady, Maggie Kerr, who's in the UK. So any of you UK viewers, seriously, Maggie's brilliant. She's absolutely amazing. Um, I'll link her down below as always. Uh, Maggie is supplying these monos and I have decided I am going to use these. They are PCL monos. So I'm going to use these for around here because I think I've been using a lot of PLLA and regular PDO here and obviously it's not lasting as long as I would like it to last. Um, so PCL is where I'm gonna be at with that. And then I bought these ones um, as well from a supplier in Korea. Um, and they are actually very good. I've used that supplier before. I will put the link on the bottom below. They approached me on Instagram. 
and they were very very good and I use these these are 30 gauge 25.4 so they'll be going around my lip my lips because I want to do some more work on my lips really happy how the, the top lip is forming but I need to do a little bit more just to keep it up and I might even get some cheek work done here a little apple of the cheek work done so that's what's coming as well as two fantastic companies who are now sending me products they're not sponsoring the videos but they are sending me gifted items to review for you so I'm going to do genuine reviews so this is I feel is the start of where companies are starting to sit up and take notice of me yay I'm like a spoiled child notice me notice me <laughs> um, which is great for you guys because you know then you get a full review of what things and you know me well enough to say if it's not good I won't be telling you it's good just like I say with the micellar water I'm not a huge fan of it I think it's very drying to be honest for our is great for younger girls and oh my god far better than those disgusting makeup wipes makeup wipes should only be using your hand when you're trying lipstick on and you rub it on like that and you rub it off that's it um, and they're brilliant for cleaning leather as well um, baby wipes face wipes no they don't touch my skin um, if I'm really really stuck for cleansing I always bring the micellar water with me and some cotton pads if I'm going to be away for the weekend somewhere where I'm going to need to cleanse more times than not I just skip the makeup and I just go with water because I don't like putting that on my skin tremendously but I will say Garnier is probably the best one I've found out there because it doesn't have alcohol and if any of you have deals is what we have I think in Ireland and Spain and throughout Europe but I believe it's called Poundland in England their micellar water has no alcohol in it as well and it's cheaper it's cheaper I will link it if I can find it online in the description for you so let's get into the micro needling. So once my face is cleansed, I just start going rrr, 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 all around my face uh, very carefully with three millimeter. I don't want to push that in too far. Um, no, it's, you know, <laughs> it's sore. Apologies, I sneeze a lot and I have a runny nose in it. As you all know, that happens to me, but I hope you like the video anyway. So get watching. Now you can see here, excuse me. Oh, I have to blow that out. Once you start, it does do that to me every time. Anybody who's watched my videos before has seen me do this. <laughs> so it does actually send me a little bit when I start. I'm going here, but I'm avoiding this little area, but I'm, I want to get here because this is where my problems, I, I think one of my worst problems is on my face is around here. Apart from the overall fatness of it. <laughs> um, it is the worst part so I'm going to go in here I'm not going up to where that dry spot is um, I'm trying to avoid that um, I hate pulling on the skin so that's why I go <laughs> but I'm gently moving this fold of fat out of the way <laughs> and be very gentle like I'm using this very lightly I'm not um, <clears throat> whacking in there I'm going over it a lot because I want a lot of holes in there because I really really do want good uh, penetration um, here penetration <laughs> I should stop now shouldn't I um, and of course the dimpling on the chin microneedle my lips and I've no people have said oh microneedling your lips is absolutely amazing for e -e 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 -e. 
<laughs> for um for you know getting your lips plump unfortunately for me um since i've a kid i suffer from cold sores so if i do that the cold sore just goes and pops up so i end up doing it and putting the hyaluronic acid on and then putting um a Virax over it and it sort of counteracts and defeats the purpose and I've never found it really really advant advantageous to myself so um, I prefer the thread lips with you know the, to thread my lips and um, I think it's it's better so I'm gonna go over the forehead once more back into its alcohol until I get to wash it and out of its alcohol is the thank God half mil that I'm going to run all over my face. This one is a lot easier to use than, um, than the other one because it's, it's not as long, it won't. The other one, you, the three mil, you really have to be careful up and down, take it off the skin. I'd recommend that for everything. But this one, because it's a half mil, I'm not saying you get away with it. Don't try it, please do not do this to scratch your skin. But it's easier to use, it's safer to use, I suppose is the best way to say it. Now you rest in your cleansing fluid there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get as much hyaluronic acid. My hyaluronic acid, my brand is so thick, it, it doesn't dispense brilliant like whole pipettes full, which is, you don't need day to day, but today I'm doing a few pipettes because I need a lot of it. <laughs> so like I said, this is a, a heavy duty day. So I want a lot of this on my skin right now because I have done three mil depth. Not quite as aggressively as a tattoo artist would do because they're trying to keep the the ink in your skin for years. Um, you know, I haven't leaned down, um, but I have wanted to put this in. Now, niacinamide can have the potential to sting a little bit. So if my face flares up red, don't worry. It's just it does do that sometimes. Um, it depends on your pain thresholds. It doesn't bother me. Nice big dollop of niacinamide. It doesn't bother me at all, but other people might think, no, I'm not putting myself through that. Um, the hyaluronic acid is absolutely fine. Um, I find this absolutely fine, but I know some people kind of go, no, no, it stings me a little bit and I'm not putting it on. So there we have it. Faceful, and I'm not gonna waste any of this. So I'm gonna go down here as well. Now, I always take my gloves off when they start to do this. When they start to become yellow, right? That's when I take them off. Um, because I know what's happening is product is seeping in, alcohol is seeping in, and I find then that the glove, to me, maybe it's me being overcautious because this is at home stuff um, and because of my training, but I find this is just, to me, is a little bit of a signal that the gloves are no longer offering the same strength as they were. And like, we have plenty of these gloves. We have a box full of the bloody things. 
so we're okay. We have loads, but I'm going to get the medium next time because I do find for doing um, threads, they get caught and stuff and pick. Right, so we're back to our cleaned out. Sorry, and that's just me washing it around the brush. We're now back. I just want to wash off some of that alcohol with a little water because we don't want the alcohol on our face. So here we are going into the eyes here. Um, it's here and here. I will sneeze like a loony tick now, watch. I did warn you. <laughs> That's all I'm going to do. I don't want to be a lunatic about this. Now, a cotton bud or a makeup bud, I use the top of these, one of these. And as you see, I didn't go mental on the eye, on the, the... Now, I am beginning to wonder, did my machine switch off too early? I'll have to check the footage of this bloody thing because this camera is new and I don't know what I'm doing with it. Hmm. Anyways, so after applying all that to my face, now what I'm gonna do is give it something to calm it down. I get this with the Boots Hyaluronic, or not the Hyaluronic, uh, the, hy the acid, the, oh God, salicylic, I think it is, lactic acid, sorry, it's lactic acid um, kit. And I actually find it very good. And I wish Boots would actually just put this as a cream in its own right, because it's so good. So I just, I am very liberal with it um, after doing this. So, oh yes, that, it just calms the skin right down, particularly those bloody poor eyebrows, anything to fade. What I'm trying to do is fade those tattoos so I can redo them. And yes, I'll be redoing them myself. I have um, a tattoo um, gun. Um, well, it's not a gun, it's not a, a, a motored gun. It is a um, microneedling pen. So I have two microneedling pens, which we'll be looking into and the difference, I'll be using one. As you know, I already have a doctor pen. I've since purchased another one. We're gonna have a look at the two of those. I'm gonna do it on some um, synthetic skin and show you what I'm at. And let's see how we get on with that. So that's it for me this week for microneedling. That was my intense hydration and torture session. <laughs> I hope I got the video of the whole bloody thing because I'll be really peeved off if I didn't. Just to recap, in case, in case I didn't, I used a, a three, a 0.5, sorry, millimeter around the whole face, but on my forehead and on my chin and on my eyebrows, I used a three millimeter to try and get a little bit deeper so that the product could sink in deeper and so that I could put a teeny little bit of alcohol on my eyebrows to try and fade them. I will have to do this once a week, every week, not so much the deep, intense three millimeter because I wouldn't recommend that to anybody. It is sore, um, but I have to do this to fade my eyebrows. So I hope you enjoyed me being back. Oh God, I've so enjoyed doing this video and I can't wait to do some more. As I said, we have lots of stuff to do. So thank you so much for watch watching. Thank you all for coming here and thank you for the lovely comments and liking and sharing and please subscribe and please subscribe. Please watch, I have some really cool pay playlists. If you go into the main page of my channel and click into playlists, you'll see I have some fun stuff there. I've got some videos of Spanish properties, which are absolutely fabulous. There's these are my little dream homes and stuff like this. Um, I've also got a really funny, like bizarre gallery of plastic surgery gone way too far, way too far. And if you're interested in true crime, I have some excellent true crime um, playlists as well there. So please, I have microneedling um, or I have uh, threads from lots of people like TJ's tutorials and stuff. So there's a lot of videos in those playlists that will either entertain you or they will educate you. So please do look at more than, you can look at my videos, they're wonderful. But if you want some entertainment, it's a channel, remember. This is a YouTube channel. Channels don't have just one type of program on them. <laughs> so what I've done is I've gleaned the best of my favorites from the internet to put in a playlist, in several playlists for you guys. So tours around Tarabiaca and 
Cabo Royge and places that I love to visit every time I'm on holidays, I've put them there for you. So for God's sake, go and investigate them. Um, I will be uploading some more from a lovely couple. I met um, the Scottish couple. Uh, they're a lovely couple who live in Torbeche um, on the on, on the Gorobel Costa here. And they're just amazing. They're really good. They do great informative videos. They're all in there. Um, I will link to some channels as well that I love um, below the video just for other, if you want to view something else. But please be entertained by my channel. Take care of yourselves. Be good to each other. Be kind to each other. Remember, we are all the same. We are all humans. And I'd like to think we are all beautiful inside and out. Take care. Thank you for passing by and stopping and watching the video. Bye-bye. See you next week. Bye, folks.